laser scanning has started to unpick the secrets behind the engineering of the Romans' incredible amphitheatres. Big cats weren't the only stars of these shows. The Romans also produced everything from rhinoceroses to elephants, as well as huge pieces of stage scenery. But how did they do this? Wow, this is really impressive. This is the main part of the hypogeum. I'm in the central spine that goes right through the center of the stadium. You can see that over the years of use, the mark of every single event that took place is there written on the walls. This would have given them a tremendous range of options to build things. And we're gonna try and get some sort of sense of what was involved in the engineering of those events. Steve has tasked the scanning team with covering this central area and transforming the bricks and mortar into a 3D computer image to try and decode the markings on the walls. Back at Tech HQ, Steve is hoping the lasers detect something that his eyes can't. What we've got are two parallel walls, and the walls have got all sorts of fingerprint clues that tell us how they might have used them to lift things from the hypogeum floor right up onto the stage floor. Zoom in on the wall itself, that wall, and you can actually start to see areas where the holes follow a ramp pattern. The point cloud data has started to reveal a particular pattern to Steve. You can see there's a zone here where there's effectively a ramp, and I think that's an area where they came in and there was a ramp created up there so they could actually take something onto the floor above. Most historians believe that the Romans used ramps for these shows, and Steve thinks what he's picked out from the scans could show him where these ramps were placed, and he believes they were big enough to bring huge props or even chariots onto the stage. So how did they do it? They slid this back, and they drove a chariot and horses up the ramp and onto the floor. I mean, can you imagine what that would have been like? You're in the arena, and suddenly some horses and a chariot just appear in the center of the arena. But there's something else on the scans that's caught Steve's eye. Our lasers have captured one of the tunnels leading away from the hypogeum that's much longer than the other tunnels. Oh my god, I didn't even know that existed. Look at that, it's huge. It is what incredible. Is look, look, look at it, look, look. Steve wants to take a closer look at the tunnel. He wants to find out where it goes and what the Romans used it for. It looks like it goes back an awful long way. We never would have imagined that they built these enormous long tunnels. I'm really surprised by this. And this has been built for a purpose. It keeps going. We must be close to a, a hundred yards from the floor. If they wanted to keep things secret, they went to an awful lot of trouble to do it. So what could this tunnel be for? Steve explores further, hoping to find a clue. It looks like there's two levels to this. I don't know where we are, but I can see trees up above. This isn't something that's collapsed. This has been prepared. The opening seems to have been deliberately carved out by the Romans. The tunnel is so long that if Steve wants to find the end, he'll have to follow it above ground. We can trace it round and find that it's definitely outside the stadium. I think we're going to have to take to the streets to go and search for it. Looks like this is a good route through this alley. We're at the back of the stadium, so now we're outside the area where people gathered to find their way to their seats. So anything that was done out of here would have been done in secrecy. <laughs> Reach the dead end here. What we've got is a secret tunnel, if you like, a loading dock that's 2,000 years old. And we can't find it because the city has actually encroached into that area. Just behind the back of the amphitheater, Steve finds the opening he saw from inside the tunnel. Oh, I can see it. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is the place where, looking up, I was able to see those trees earlier. What we've got here is an access shaft that takes us down to the intermediate level and right down to the base of the hypogeum. But what was this access shaft for? 
We're hoping our scan data will help us get to the bottom of this mystery. Just see exactly how far beyond the face of the building that yeah. they went. So they wanted to take something out beyond where all the people were who'd come to watch the show. But what did the Romans want to hide? You imagine what takes place inside the Colosseum. Yeah. The things died, animals died. Yeah. And humans died. Humans died. Steve now thinks that the opening he found holds the key to the purpose of this tunnel. When you see this, you've got something that's about eight feet long and yeah. it's about two and a half feet wide and it's just got that shape that's reminiscent of a coffin. Really? The use of this tunnel is still unknown to historians, but the data shows that the hole is exactly the right size and shape to lift a body through. This leads Steve to believe that the tunnel was constructed to remove the dead in secret away from all the spectators. From a complex of elevator systems and ramps that could enable wild animals or even chariots to appear instantly on stage, to the engineering secrecy that could have been used to dispose of dead bodies during a show, our scans have revealed the amazing engineering possibilities beneath the Roman stage. I have the utmost respect that they could mentally envisage everything that was gonna take place in this stadium long before it actually happened. That is brilliant. The hypergeum at Pozzuoli has given Steve some fascinating theories about the staging of the Roman games. 